welcome to part 3 of Resident Evil 4 Remake, guys. Hola, Luis here. You guys still around? Well, I wanted to go home, but actually just had to see this castle first. Perfect, because I have a present I want to give you. Medicine that will help to suppress the progress of your problem. Where do we go? Let's see. Come to the courtyard inside of the castle. We can meet up there. Ciao. All right, Ashley. Louise just said. I got it. Just be better. It's time for Chapter 7, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, Chapter 7. We're heading into the castle. Oh, look. Let's shoot these flocks of crows. Wow. Run another way to miss, man. But whatever. This one is bulletproof. That that candle. Literally. I have some new goods that might interest you. Welcome. I got something new for you. Okay, folks, we're gonna buy the treasure map, Castle. What's that? All kinds of trinkets in this clown's castle. Ain't doing it no good, are they? <laughs> The clown's castle. Good one, man. Good one. Uh, Mendez's false eye is, metic is a meticulously crafted artificial eye made of ceramic. This one is made for selling only, so that's fine. I'll just have to sell it anyway. Thank you. It used to be a key to get to the entrance of the castle, but not anymore. It's made of treasure. Tail, stingray, and broken butterfly. And then cooking, thank you. But you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna use the broken butterfly. Where are you gonna put this? Your pocket? Yes, mate. My pocket. No, not my pocket, mate. <laughs> because my stuff is seriously full. This one carries like eight freaking spaces. Good lord. Seriously. No, I don't need the kitchen knife anyway. Why not? But yeah, you get the broken butterfly. That's a revolver. You know? The revolver. Yeah. Hope my frames don't drop. But yeah. Exactly. Anything else I can help you with? I'm gonna tune up my uh, revolver, folks. The broken butterfly is a lot oh, powerful than shotgun. Your specific need. There you are, as you wished. Come back any time. Yes, sir. And when we use the touchpad, there's gonna be a total of 41 treasures that we gotta find, folks. But yeah, I'm glad we defeated Chief Mendez in the last chapter, and we rescued her on chapter four. And we fought off these hordes of Ganados, but yeah, we get the vintage compass. It's great. But what else? Let's see if there are any more crows up there. Let's take a good look. Oh, here it's got to be through that gate. Don't think our hosts are going to roll out the red carpet. <laughs> Crossbows, huh? But something tells me they don't want to be friends. Nope. They are not friendly, you know. Those guys work for Sattler. Let's look over there, shall we? What is that? I'm guessing it's not for decoration. No, those are catapults. But you know what? I should probably shoot them. 
Might want to have to snipe those guys. Why not? Probably for the greater good of my bullets. Come on. These are cult dudes. All right. Some of these guys can be very tricky and annoying, you ask me. Looks like I gotta craft some resources. I need to get 10 gunpowder and one large resources. Seriously, I needed that. Are there any nests here? No. I could probably use my shotgun. Oh, those guys are the cult members. They work for Sadler. These guys are the ones in the black robes, and they don't wear shoes, but they female. But they also have a female one that, who also wears pumps. They're even more annoying. Oh God! Well, we got a new parasite. This guy's very annoying. You gotta shoot the mouth. You gotta shoot his mouth, cause this guy. He really hurts. So if I do not shoot him, he's going to go up on the ceiling and bite off Leon's head, killing him instantly. No, it doesn't matter how much health you got. You will still die. I hate those guys. I hate them with a burning passion. Hey, you, you can break the cover. Sweet. I that by now. <laughs> Yes, there are vases that you can kick so that you can earn items and all that good stuff. Basically, you cannot destroy that. You can't destroy the... You can't extinguish the torch. You seriously can't extinguish it. But you need to save ammo. Okay, seriously, there's going to be blue medallions over here. That's too far. Oh, God. Yeah, you can see guys wearing uh, that mask. That skull metal mask that's resistant to bullets, you know. And these guys carry crossbow. Be careful of them. Yo, you cannot headshot those guys either. Because they're wearing masks, you can't even headshot them. There, we got a female cult. You know, those guys kind of remind me of Lord Voldemort from Harry Potter. But I digress. Lord Voldemort is definitely Harry Potter's arch enemy. I never liked Voldemort because Voldemort killed Harry's parents that include Lily and James. But yeah, are there any more medallions that I need to shoot? Sometimes it's in a tree, it's on a tree. Oh my god! What did I say? Catapults! These guys... Yes, they do. Just stay back. 
these catapult dudes can throw a big fuck you bomb at Leon or Ashley. And that explosion can definitely shave off your health. So be careful. Come on, lady. Slam. Whoa. You all right? Yeah, no big deal. She's dead, literally. Definitely got to shoot that red fuel barrel so that the catapults will explode. There we go. Door is blocked. Stick close. Okay. Ashley, come on. Get in there. Come, no, no. Yeah, these cults can appear from behind, so watch out. Don't let a single cult grab Ashley. You know, I would be really mad if if one bad guy takes away a pretty girl, you know? Uh, I think I see some blue medallions over there. Well, let's just pick up that note first. After we destroy that gate, that is. Oh god, they got maces too? Hmm. Is there a medallion up there? Yes, there it is. That's two. Thank you. Door's locked from the other side. So that means we gotta find another way. Well, at least I took care of that enemy over there, so... Yeah. Wait until they're done throwing the bombs. That doesn't make any sense. Let's accomplish this once and for all. Okay, Ashley? We're gonna go down in there to where the cannon is and shoot that medallion. And also shoot that weight. So that the platform of the cannon raise rises up that way we can use it okay come on leon These cult dudes don't know when to stop. Seriously. There's that TNT, so shoot it. And shoot another one. That's a good thing we destroyed these uh, catapults, you know. And there's also a treasure that we gotta pick up. And destroy that medallion. The elegant mangle. Another combinable treasure. Sweet. Unlock that door from the other side. Uh oh. Seriously? Okay. That, holy jeez! You put her down, you friggin' idiot! Stupid cult. Well, you deserve it for kidnapping her, for trying to kidnap her. There's that final medallion, so shoot it. Okay, when we use this cannon, you f press the R2 to shoot. 
But remember, this meter will fill up gradually. You know? Furthermore, destroy that gate. Let's see if there are any treasures located here. Uh, no treasure here, so that's good. And by the way, pick up the resources. Seriously? Okay, I probably need to use my... I'm going to use the magnum ammo, what the heck. No, don't drop my frames here, please. <sighs> that feels good. Killing these enemies. And also, we got a barrel. Look at all those lanterns hanging around. Ta-da! Oh, I forgot to get the peseta. That's what. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Actually, you have to go from the other side. Not that way. Let's try to backtrack for that coin. I need to get a lot of coins so that I can upgrade. Hey, but seriously, do so. There's the Pesadas. Ha ha! And get the rifle ammo. In other words, take take the mixed herbs and uh, don't no don't examine the rif the rifle ammo, please. Okay. Oh, uh, you can't extinguish all those torches. Because those are different, you know. I did remember that in 2005 Resident Evil 4. That you have to extinguish all those torches to get more treasure. Like Spinels and uh, Velvet Blue. Yeah, I can see that, Ashley. You know. We're in the castle. An old-looking castle. Let's talk to him. By destroying three blue medallions, we get five spinels. I don't want to have to pick them up. So that's why I had to do it early, you know. A well-tuned weapon can make up for a lack of skill, friend. There you are, as you wished. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, I'll have to save some potatoes from now on. Come back any time. But right now... I could probably test out the high power scope. Like this one. 
That's a, this is a lot better than the other ones. It takes three zooms. Welcome. But I should probably put it in the storage. Yeah, this is a lot better than the normal scope, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, let's continue. Oh wow, we got shield dudes there. They're gonna be very obnoxious, you know. You can also destroy them with your shotgun. And Ashley's being taken hostage. Get your hands off of her, you filthy punks. And piss off! And we ran into Red Moon Salazar and we got hit by a stupid scythe. Ow! Yeah, do avoid these scythe enemies, because they're very annoying. They will slash you, and they can decapitate you when you're low on health. You all right. yeah, thanks. And I have to mention this to you. The voice actor that plays Ramon Salazar in this remake is now Marcio Moreno. But in the 2005 version of Resident Evil 4, Salazar is voiced by Rene Mujica, you know? But anyways, that those doors are locked from the other side, and we got a key over there. And also, a treasure drawer. We need to find a small key for that. And this gate over there is locked from the other side. Seriously. Yes, I was right. We need to look for another way around. And, uh, that one's locked from the other side, too. So, uh, yeah. So that means we need to get to the gap in the wall. We need to find a way to get that ladder. Make sure Ashley jumps on the gaps so that she can unlock that door from the other side. I need you to open it from the other side. Oh. Oh, that. I should probably use the broken butterfly for the shortcut here right now. It's open. Good work. Gracias. Now kick the vase. Got the rifle ammo. <sighs> that treasure is located over there. So 
So open it up so that we can get the elegant perfume bottle. Oh, wow. If it has perfume inside, that would be great for Ada. But if you spray it on yourself, Leon, you would smell really gay, you know. <laughs> but I prefer you give it to Ashley or Ada. Or even Jill. Or Rebecca. And then we go into this tight squeeze. That wall right there. So this treasure. The treasure is in that torture chamber. So you've got to break those wooden walls. Open it up to get the rifle ammo. There's treasure hanging up there. So shoot it and get the ruby. Excellent. There's so many gems in there. Seriously. Oh, look. This dungeon leads to the torture chamber. And there are two treasures in the torture... Three tre a total of three treasures in the torture chamber. You get... Oh, my God. Can you shoot that? Yes, you can. <laughs> oh, look. A guillotine. And a dead body. None shall escape. Why is it on his body? Jeez. Caretaker's note. I was awoken in the middle of the night once again. It's those awful noises coming from the basement. The sounds of nails clawing at the stone walls and the writhing moans of curses. That man harbors enough hate to ruin this world. He once served the lord of the castle as the torturer like his father and grandfather before him. It's one of the more unslightly legacies left by the Salazar family. Even among his family, he was special. He enjoyed his work wholeheartedly and had a talent for it. He was gifted at tormenting others. His ability soon attracted the master's interest, and when he took him to the dungeon... No, I can't write anymore. I won't. I don't want to recall what happened down there. My mind can't take it. It will break me. I was ordered to attend to him, to feed him, dispose of the filth, all while listening to that wretched voice every night. I can't take it anymore. I've had enough. I will not tolerate one more night in this castle. I shall leave tomorrow. Go far away, where that voice cannot reach my ears. Oh, wow. Look at all those torture chambers. Seems kind of scary. We need to find the key. Oh, wow. He was brutally murdered. Oh, my God. Well, you know what? We get this uh, handgun ammo. And in there. What was that? Did they keep animals down here or something? Uh, no, they don't keep animals down here, Ashley. You know that. I do check this treasure to treasure here. We're not close yet. But the key is located over here. Look at all those spike chairs. Those are dangerous. Amuerto la luz. What does that mean? Now we get the key. The light is lost. Oh! Ew. Oh my god, those enemies are called Garadors. These guys are absolutely annoying. They got claws that can shave off health. They're supposed to remind me of Wolverine from X-Men. They will go up to you and impale you. And I remember this death animation when, when Leon gets decapitated and he gets stabbed in the gut and the head. And all you gotta do is shoot that parasite on his back so that it will take damage him, you know. 
Why is he so fast? He is blind as a liquor. Look at all those parasites he's got on his back. Yep. His body doesn't take damage. You know? Shooting the body doesn't help, but shooting his parasitic back can help. Die, you Gowardor scumbag. I hate those guys. Gotcha. Yeah, he can still claw you when he goes down. By defeating him, we get a red barrel. I'm, I'm probably going to save that red barrel for now on. Let's kick that face so that we get more magnum ammo. And also... Gotta be in the third floor. You know, the third floor is where two treasures are located. You know, why do I keep damaging objects? Can you actually shoot those wooden planks? Yes, you can. You can only shoot them, you know. You know what? Don't shoot them, actually. Just save your bullets. You gotta hold the X button so that we can twist the crank. That way we can enter. Look at these iron bars. Let's kick the face. Gotta reload my ammo. Come on, reload! Don't switch from gun to gun, Leon. Come on. Now climb up! Great. Made it. Oh, it's you. What happened down there? Nothing. You were right about the animals, though. They're not animals. They're bioorganic weapons. Leon, dungeon key. Key found on the lap of a corpse in the dungeons. Use it so that we can go. Let's see here. What does this lead to? She's coughing up a storm. I'm fine. Well, for now. Don't worry about the mechanical cadences. Pick up this spell. I seriously need to combine. No, don't go into the files. Just focus. The treasure is located over there. We're in a cellar room. Oh, look at all those knight drawings. You know those knights kind of remind me of King Arthur. Wow. As I was saying, this one reminds me of King Arthur from... Ghouls and Ghosts, and Ghosts and Goblin, right? The Golden Sword will be placed right... Uh, let's see here. Yeah. The Rusted Sword goes under the graveyard. That's an Iron Sword. Replace it with the Rusted Sword. Rusted Sword on the graveyard, and the Iron Sword on the... Uh, on the Iron Knights. And also we got a puzzle to solve here. Let's see here. Falcon, Snake, and a Caribou. No, not the fish. You gotta make sure three gongs match.
Yes, that that just So pick up the bloodied sword. Well, it's just replica. Only a couple of uses for it. Well, you can't use them as weapons, Leon. You can't use them as weapons. The treasure is located over here, right after I solved the night puzzle. But that's the spirit. I'll get some more gunpowder in. I had to craft first, so that's good to know. Okay, we're gonna put the bloody sword onto the knight enemy. This golden knight is decapitating him, literally. Yeah, now we go in. This is the wine cellar area. Oh, we got a viper! I should have known we found a viper. You know? Okay. The treasure. Gold bangle. Booyah! Oh wow, we're gonna be doing chandelier from now on. This is the same room as before, isn't it? Guess we just circled around. Alright, let's kick that ladder down. And we got a puzzle once again. The gong puzzle, that is. Uh we need to find a, a dragon or a fish dragon and a snake. Fish dragon. And where's that snake? A viper. You gotta jump on the chandeliers. <laughs> yeah, take that. Shut up, Ashley. We're collecting treasures. You know where I'm going, Ashley. I'm gonna drop down so that I can open up the chest and get this golden hourglass. Wow. And we unlock that door from the other side. Booyah. Lock drawer and the uh, lock treasure. Booyah. Yeah. Of that cabinet and get the yellow herb so that I can combine it and, and fully heal myself. Leon, are you kidding me? Jumping across chandeliers, seriously, who does that? <laughs> what are you, my mother? <laughs> what are you, my mother? <laughs> no, Leon, Ashley is not your mother, she's just a friend. <laughs> I love that line, you know. Got to wait for Ashley. Wait a minute, I'm gonna head over there so that Ashley can meet me there. There you go. And kick that face. And also, we need to find a small key and that uh, thing that can unlock that treasure. Oh wow. Where in the heck are we? After the audience cham chamber, we're heading over there. Is this a hallway or something? Good gravy, seriously. I got seven treasures. That means you only got 30 more, 34 more left. Let's go down. No!
<laughs> wow. Is this the fourth wall breaking moment? Seriously. I don't know if it is or not. But yeah, I'm... This is our way over there, but I should probably get some more stuff. We're going to unlock that door from the other side. That way it would help. And, uh, yeah, let's read a book. Parasites in their ecology, volume number two. There are some parasites that have the ability to control their hosts. This is basic knowledge among most biologists, but much is known as to how the parasites do it. The following is a list of several such parasites. Diacrolium. Once the larva of this parasite migrates to the ant's esophagus, they alter the behavior of the ant. When the temperature drops in the evening during the peak grazing hours, the infected ant climbs to the top of a plant and clamps onto a leaf using its mandible with the intention of being eaten. Galactosomum. The larvae of the parasite make their home inside of the brain of a fish such as the yellow tail and the parrot bass. Once infected, the fish makes its way up to the water surface where it will swim until eaten by seabirds. Leucoridium, the parasite's sporocytes develop in the snail's eye stalks, where they pulsate like worms. They alter the snail's behavior and force it to move to the top of a plant to make it more visible to birds. Once eaten by birds, the parasite will complete its metamorphosis into an adult. Wow, it does. That door is locked from the other side. That means we it, it'll be on a different chapter. But seriously, let's continue. And don't lower my frames. Oh wow, we're in an area so full of black liquid. And even bulletproof torches. Ah, the entertainment. <laughs> ah, the entertainment. Enough with the fourth wall breaking moments, Leon. Seriously. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to watch out for these scumbag Ganados. Those cult Ganados, that is. Oh, Jesus. Get out of my way, you stupid Ganado. Put her down right now. Smacking me with your stupid mate. Get the hell off of me. Why is he wearing a mask? Oh great, archers. Where are they coming from? Where exactly are they coming from? Seriously. And my stuff keeps getting full all the time. Like it's nobody's business. You know? So I gotta craft! Where is that archer coming from? Come on! Oh, my knife duration's about to go down, literally. Look what we got there. A friggin' parasite! Yeah, move! Oh god, these guys never quit. Seriously? Blast their heads. we got to do is find that crank located down here.
Okay, we got got two parasitic head, big heads that could bite off Leon's heads over there that we gotta deal with. As long as I got flashbang grenades, that would have been much easier for me, you know. Oh look, why are the coffins here? Okay, kick that face. Okay, seriously? Kick them vases. Uh-oh. Literally, my stuff's full. Yeah, I'm going to have to use my bolts. Oh, wow. Not another one of those freaking parasite heads. Oh, come on. I shot your mouth. No, I just did. How can a parasite still move when he's dead? Oh, my God. There's... These creatures are totally disgusting. They should have disintegrated. Like the all like all these Ganados. Oh god. Oh. All we got is this handle. The halo wheel. Yes, it should. Place it here and hold the X button. You can hear Ominous chanting, chanting right now. That means we gotta fight all those freaks. Those stupid cult dudes. Let's deal with these morons. Or what? Next. Yeah, next. He's still alive? That doesn't matter. His head just blew up? Oh, God. Out of the way. And my, my uh, knife is about to break, literally. So I should definitely switch to that. Oh good gravy, my stuff is seriously full. Don't push me. Ah! Her head just popped open. Whoa! A random parasite pops up, mostly. But I should probably check for some more stuff. I gotta get some handgun ammo. Pesadas and. What's it? Oh, yeah, I should get gunpowder right now. Well, why not? I need to get some more ammo. Yeah. Now let's go back on the stairs and collect some more objects. Oh! Break the base! 
Nope. My crap's full. It means my stuff's full. Okay. That's good. That's totally good. Totally good. Now we can place the halo wheel over here right after we kick that small looking vase. Why are there so many black liquids all over the place? Who does that? I bet you it was Sadler or Salazar. Or even Chief Mendes. Okay, when we hold down this wheel, the stairs appears. We're not out of the woods yet. No, we're not. I would agree with you, Leon. But this one is going to be very tricky. This is where we got to get Ashley to find all the wheels to make a bridge. So we're going to fight these cult dudes. These bald men. These guys are bald. Why do they not have hairs when they work for Sadler? Especially the ones in the castle. Oh, we got a velvet blue. Sweet. Velvet blues are usually rare when you kick uh, barrels and vases and all that, all that crap. But you know. Look at all those black liquid everywhere. We got some magnum ammo. I could probably use those for tougher enemies. All we gotta do is hold the wheel so that our first platform rises up. Look, there's a dragon. Two dragons. You know those dragons kind of remind me of the dragon from Dragon's Dogma, right? A talking dragon. You know Dragon's Dogma is a Capcom video game. You know. Come on. But we got to get Ashley up there. Once she's up there, we're going to be fighting off these hordes of, okay? Gan of Ganado cults. Yeah. Better not let them get Ashley because if, we, if they got Ashley, we're toast. All right. Now we gotta fight off these guys on the here. Yes, also, is that, I thought that was a lantern. A fire lantern, you know. Oh wow, that didn't affect that dude. No! Keep your freaking hands off of Ashley, you stupid assholes. Ow! Get off me! How about I just kill you instead, man? And put some shoes on. Why did these guys not wear shoes? Okay, get back here. Yeah, we did it. What the heck? What the heck am I hearing? More dudes. Can't these can't these cults ever shut up? Uh, 
Let's check one more time. Okay, I'm definitely gonna get some more shotgun shells from now on. All right. If I could, let's see if there's, if they were the ones that are chanting over there, but he's over here. Let's deal with this loser. What? That's right. That'll show him who's boss. At least he knows how to shut up. Now we'll be able to pass. Get some more gunpowder. We can go. Look at all those freaking crows. Guess you scared the crap out of those crows, Leon. <laughs> We're by the fountain. No, you can't shoot that torch. All you gotta do is make sure it actually jumps through the gaps so that way she can unlock the other side of the door that was a long chapter if I do say so myself uh, this is where that courtyard is oh geez Ashley's coffin is she okay Oh God, Ashley's personality just split. He became Sadler and he tried to attack Leon with, with a knife. Oh God. All right, folks, that's the end of chapter seven. We'll be in chapter eight for now. So let's go. Roos, come in. Things went to shit. We took refuge inside a castle, but I've just been separated from Baby Eagle. Say and you. Roost, you're breaking up. Do you read me? Or what? Yeah. Chopper. Damn it. So much for that. Hey folks, time for chapter eight, ladies and gentlemen. Ashley got separated from us. Seriously. Uh let's go into this fountain and kill some fishes. Oh, it's those fishes again coming from the fountain. Wow. I mean, wow. Seriously. And yes, my stuff is full, so I'm definitely going to have to sell some items. Having a rough day, stranger. Yes, I'm having a rough day. Ashley just left me. Well, 
Silver Dungeon Key, Gold Bangle, Golden Hourglass, Perfume. I'm gonna have to save those gems for later. What we're gonna have to get is uh, body armor. That's worth 18,000. Body armor that protects the wearer completely from shots and explosions and reduces damage from close quarter attacks. Its durability can be restored by the merchant. Yep. I'm gonna have to repair my knife. Oh look, it's the Matilda from Resident Evil 2. Good lord. I could probably buy the Red Burl. And we also got an exclusive upgrade ticket. A single ticket, a single use ticket that grants access to a weapons exclusive upgrade regardless of the weapons level. No, I don't need that right now. How have we procured these curiosities? Uh, we'll do. We'll come back any friggin' time, man. But, you know. Oh, crap. My stuff. I forgot about it. Gotta sell that viper. Apparently I should. Pleasant travels, but you know what? Can sell mostly of the mostly those fishes. Welcome. Well, then. What can I do you for? Well, well. I can certainly do something with this. If you want a biting chance out there, you best tune up your kit. Come on, sell that big lunker. Let's just sell that big fish. Take a look. It's up welcome. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Ruby's all rubbish. She makes no difference. The price, well, that's our choice to make. Not bad. Pleasant travel. Now we gotta find Ashley. Whew. I saw a lot of fish here. So 
So that means I got the broken butterfly. Oh my god, I hear Amis chanting. This is messed up. Very messed up. And door's locked from the other side, so we're gonna have to find a way. We're in the wine cellar. Let's see. And there's a treasure here. So go over. So vault over. Let's read. Consign the crimson flame. The voice of pestilence dwells in the flame, leading to the pitiful souls to salvation. Consign the crimson flame to its rightful place, for you shall be enlightened in the path revealed. So that means we're going to be fighting this uh, crimson zealot. That guy's going to be very annoying. He's going to be using his uh, crimson lantern to make sh to make his comrades make his comrades' heads explode so that a parasite will be revealed. And this that lantern can give you a headache, you know. And we care. Oh, screw off! I know, your head starts to hurt. What's up with these stupid, stupid Ganados getting in my way? No matter how many times I kill them, they're gonna summon more of these. So when the staff bell chimes, their heads begin to explode and also watch out! What a gross and disgusting Ganados parasite heads! Just sh Use your freaking flashbang grenades! Oh no! The head's exploded and let's deal with him! Yeah! This guy's lowering my guard here! And look! Gotta make sure to blast him right into his- No! No 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 no! Oh god! Oh wow, I missed. Oh, you missed me, losers. <laughs> well, let's equip. Why not? Come on. That's the way. Now go. Kill him. No, he's not dead yet. So let's use that revolver anyway. He's just vaulting over. Just so that he could escape. Take this, you you stupid idiot! Ow! I'm I'm about to run out of health, literally. You know what? I'm probably gonna save that first aid spray for when I run into danger. Knock it off with the stupid bow and arrow thing. Die. Okay. Yay. Nice parrying, man. Ow! Yeah, out of the way. And by defeating him, we get Crimson Lantern, so that's nice. I'll probably use this one. Gotta check my map and get that treasure! Open this up so that we can get the mirror with the pearls and rubies. That's the way it goes. Yep. Are there more cults to fight? Yes.
don't knife the barrel. The fuel barrel, that is. Wow, it's an insane battle. You was that red zealot was really annoying. No, you can't break that. I want to just just shoot the TNT barrel far away from it. Got some more money. And also in the second floor we should get over there. Head back to the second floor. And also we're going to put this crimson lantern over there, a red lantern that burns with a red flame. Place it over here so that the door opens up. So that's, that's a stack of books on the bench. Oh, jeez. Is that a big chalice? No, this is not medieval. Okay, let's just unlock that door and also we don't have Ashley with us so we're gonna have to find her first stop stopping Leon and continue person I thought I'd run to here. Oh, wow, that was Ada Wong, folks. She was fighting Leon. I remember in the 2005 version, she threw those sunglasses at Leon. Then break that glass to get the lithographic stone. I'm gonna find one of the lithographic stones here. And we're in a room full of knights. Uh, we found the see let's see what else those are one of the key items that we have to solve or the puzzle that we gotta solve uh, let's let's place all these stones here so that we can solve those puzzles because this is going to be an annoying pu challenging puzzle all we got to do is place this one here those swords can be very confusing a shield. 
Sometimes a shield can confuse you. Gonna be one really annoying puzzle. Sword and shield. Does that work? Yes! There we go. Shield, to top shield, bottom armor. Right sword and left helmet. By completing this puzzle, we go. Need to find Ashley. Oh look, a rat! Let's kill. Let's kick the shit out of that rat. Where are you? I'll just have to shoot it anyway. I missed. Boy, is this rat ever this fast? Seriously. Well, sorry, I denied him. There's another one. Hate rats. They're creepy. Illuminados. Hear the signal echo through the mountains. Rocks became gravel and the castle wall crumble. Behold the crimson shade of the night sky. A river of tainted blood befouls the sea. Sacrifice your life and the blood of your enemy. Atone for your ancient sins. Whoa. Good gravy. I bet you there was this small key here. There's probably small key here, you know. Oh, we got another type of parasite. This dude is very annoying. They can grab onto victims and shave off health, and they can bite your head off too. I've seen those guys before. They can grab onto host bodies just to take control of them. I think it's Plaga C, you know? I remember fighting these guys. Yeah, the only way to kill them is by throwing flashbang grenades as well. So we pick up this small key, unlock that cabinet so that we can get Brass Pocket Watch. Alright, we unlock this treasure chest to get the extravagant clock. This is a very combinable object. So I could probably use the round objects and square. No, no, no I probably need to remove that. You know what? There are, let's see, what's the one, two, three. We gotta find a small key for this one. Three treasures that we gotta find here. So Ada has been looking for the amber. What is the amber? If you want to know what the amber is, tell me on the comments, folks. Oh, we got a parasite over there. That thing's very annoying. It can control hosts. All you gotta do is kill it before he shakes your health off. Oh my god, I hate those guys. Stop kick the crap out of that monster! Don't let him grab you! Wow. The, those guys are totally annoying. Look, taxidermy! Are those the ones from Chief Iron's office? A fox, a wolf, armadillo, an otter, and a raccoon, and even moose, and deers, and caribou.
Whoa. Am I missing something? No. Of course not. I'm gonna get the first aid spray. Stocking up while you can. A wise choice. I don't always have this in stock, stranger. If you want a fighting chance out there, you best try that on for size. Yeah. We'll come back any time. It's nice that thing. You can see crows up there and even and even archers that we gotta fight. So out of rifle at oh, almost. Too far to shoot him. are again. Uh, to lower this door, we gotta shoot that weight down. Shoot the weight. And also, we gotta shoot another one. Well, no. There's only one. Oh, you were expecting me. <laughs> oh, you weren't expecting me. Now let's use those mines here. Yeah, I know. Oh my god, those guys are seriously fast. I had no idea that these guys could be this annoying. Yes, they explode. Look at all those green guts. Ugh. Talk about oozing. <laughs> What the? Do I hear crawling creatures coming up there? Yes, I do. Kill him! Takes two hits to kill him. Oh my god. All you have to do is shoot him in the back. He just lost his leg. Good God. Yeah, it's going to be on the very top, that treasure. Kill that sucker. And watch out! I gotta heal for now. What are you doing? Go away. Next. Oh, 
Oh god. Why can't Salazar summon any more tough Ganados? Bet you there's a treasure over here that I gotta find. In other words, it's on the other side. Hmm. So that means we gotta find that lever again. Shoot him and suplex that sucker. Okay. I'm definitely going to have to find a way in. This whole room is like a friggin' labyrinth. Oh God! Oh wow. So there's a hole here. I should have known. Actually, we gotta press that switch again, pull that lever again. That way I can get that treasure. Let's kick the crap out of this punk. And we get the ornate necklace. We got two round recesses and two square recesses there. But you know. We got that door that can be unlocked. Booyah. And watch out from these cult dudes carrying an arrow and shield.
Burn her. <laughs> Take that. I'm gonna get the money. But right now, we're gonna have to go up there and kill more of these Ganados! Inside the castle fortress! There's a lot of fortresses! And a lot of sun and moon switches! Oh my god, we got a, another Gigante! This guy here is very annoying. This guy here is annoying. He can throw rocks at you just to get your health shaven off. Uh, also, we gotta find uh, that jewel. But right, actually, we can't go over there because right now we got a giant dude to deal with. No, you cannot uh, kill him with your weapons. I say we should head over there and shoot that way. Ow! That hurts! He keeps throwing fuck you rocks at me. Well, big ones, that is. And he shaves off a lot of health. So watch out. How the heck is he doing this? First it was a normal Gigante and now it's an armored Gigante as well. And we get the yellow herb, so that... So that's good to know. But yeah, open this up to get emerald. There's lots of there's lots of gems here. Ooh, yikes! This is where I destroyed that destroy that thing. Gotta get to the ladder and watch out. Oh, you can also break. Sir, got me beat. <laughs> Shit, Sir Ugly's got me beat. I love that line. <sighs> At least I'm safe here, more or less. I had to head to that left side. Cause the very top is where you get that treasure. Go down. So in other words, look out for the big rocks that he throws. Oh, that's gotta hurt. He's shaving off my armor. All you gotta do is hide. You think of it like Call of Duty, you know, when you have to hide from enemy Nazis and stuff. Yeah, and also it reminds me of Conquer Back, Conquer Back earlier. You have to fight the teddies. Ow! My God! I'm even close to dying. Finally. Just hide on the barricade. No. No kidding. I'll get some gunpowder. Can't get down there. Treasure is located here, so that means we need to find a switch.
Hmm. I'm gonna have to go inside there and break those brakes. Pull that lever down. Treasure is located up there. Oh, it's down there, actually. Get the velvet blue. There's a treasure case hanging around. Get that ruby. Get on that ladder. And get inside this fortress. This is where the cannon is. Cannon. Hope it works. Yeah, I hope it works, man. Oh look, it's a treasure drawer. You need to destroy all the weight. Why are they carrying so many rocks in there? Oh my god. Okay, now we can fight that gigante punk. Get ready. Let's put a, let's just put a can on his face. Right in the eye. Now let's destroy the gate. But first take out these Ganado losers. Hooray! Alright, open for traffic. <laughs> Alright, open for traffic. Gotta love that line. Wow, you can destroy everything with this cannon. Cool. Let's go. But shoot the way. One of those prank platforms, so drop down. Oh no. Well, I could shoot him from behind and suplex that punk. There we go. Now let's go up there. Let's go. Clear. Oh shit! Sorry, I've had my fill of you guys. <laughs> that was a bit of a jump scare, literally. <laughs> An army gigante, he just popped out of nowhere and threw a grab me but good riddance I'm afraid but he's still alive anyway you know oh look a crow I better kill it we're almost there 
Oh, so this is the courtyard of Mace. Ashley, where are you? Open up this door so that we can save Ashley. Ashley was crying because she was sitting on a couch and Leon just saved her life and he told her it's okay to be scared. Anyways, we just finished chapter 8, so let's move on. Here we go. Folks, time for chapter nine. Oh my god, I love that conversation. Come to me, my prince charming. I'll show you, charming pal. <laughs> oh god, Louis, is he trying to hit on Leon? What is he gay? <laughs> but yeah, folks, we need to head to head for the ballroom. That's where Louis is located. Now that I've got Ashley, we're gonna have a treasure to collect. Got it. Oh, let's deal with this psycho. I gotta get that item that he just dropped. Leon, watch out! Hurry up, Ashley. Get up there. Okay, I'm gonna head down there and get to the area where I fought that red zealot last time. Yikes! Is that Archer? up. Whoa. Coast is clear, let's go. But not this time. Ow! When she's incapacitated, you gotta press R3 to heal her. 
If Ashley takes one more hit while she's incapacitated, she's good as dead. I can't stand it when these Ganados just scrap Ashley. Alright, deal with this cult. No, he's still alive. Okay. We got more of these Pesetas. Hope there are no more cults to fight. Oh, there he is. Fighting. Really do need to repair my knife. Wait for Ashley, Leon. You should talk to the merchant. We get case upgrade feature. 8 by 13. Oh look, we get exclusives. You gotta max out all the other upgrades or use an exclusive ticket to unlock this one. <sighs> if you try that on for size. We need to upgrade the ammo capacity first. We're starting to get an idea of your tastes, friend. This kind of work is about finesse. Stranger, a little bit goes a long way. Not will. Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> All right. Now this time, folks, we are going to be fighting new enemies. And one of them are going to be very annoying, you know. So that means we're gonna fight these armored guys called armaduras. They carry a sword just so they could shave off health. You gotta knock the parasite so they can be on their knees and kick that helmet off. Then shoot that parasite. Oh, two of them? You know, King Arthur would be so mad if one of his knights. It would would fight these parasitic monsters, you know. You got two spells. Cool. Now we're gonna head over there to where we we stole that freaking oh cage door and deal with this. Medieval freak. I had to use that revolver. Got more spindle. Let's have Ashley get to the gaps so that she can unlock that door for me. I had to break the crate. Salazar family chronology. The Salazar family land has come to an end. In order to cure Ramon's sickness, his mother Catalina invited the devil into their home. 
Inscribed is a brief history of the members that solidified his prestigious bloodline. First generation, Count Gregorio the Conqueror. Gregorio led his men to eradicate the evil that befell the castle. Recognized for his bravery, he was awarded the title of Count and entrusted to keep the demons sealed for generations to come. Second generation, Count Hippolito the Sealer. With great effort, Hippolito sealed away the plague of demons that emerged from the depths of the earth. He succumbed to wounds and sustained in battle. Third generation, Count Gregorio the Architect. Driven by the irrational paranoia, Gregorio squandered his vast fortune on excessive castle defenses and strange elaborate contraptions. Fourth generation, Count Jose Alonso the Tranquil Alonso endeavored to store, restore the family's honor. Fifth gen, Count Alejandro the Lavish Playful at Heart. Alejandro had a courtyard and ballroom erected before his untimely death. Sixth gen, Countess Maria Isabel the Lady Alejandro's widow. Countess Isabel had a long reign before her death at age 90. Seventh generation, Count Diego the Severe, similar to his predecessor. Diego was exceedingly strict. He was murdered at the hands of a devil. Eighth generation, Count Ramon. His illness should have taken him. Wow. So Ramon Salazar had a lot of red veins on his face. And he didn't even have his hat on. But in the 2005 version, he, he had a hat on. So let's open up this big chest to get the depraved idol. That's another one of these. Probably a lot, Ashley. A lot of pesetas. Now that we got the treasure, let's go take that to the merchant. I'm gonna ask you some questions. What is your most hated enemy of the in the game? Hello, stranger. Okay. Welcome. I really hate. As I was saying, my most hated enemies in this game were the brutes because they are slow but strong. Some of them carry a hammer because they're very annoying. A red barrel is like a, a rose-colored gemstone. Jeez, it's over nine thousand. Pesetas. Okay. And welcome. Ooh, what are you buy? A deal well struck. <laughs> What's this? Typewriter. Whatever. Now we can proceed to the courtyard maze. Okay, move. For some reason, the most hated enemies were these uh, bug like parasite crawling things that can control victims so they could attack me, literally. I also hate the second type parasite. They bite off victims' heads by killing them instantly. I hate those guys, you know? Do you? If you do, tell me on the comments, okay? But right now, we're heading into the maze. They didn't even have stone slabs in the 2005 version of Resident Evil 4. 
that's the video game. Resident Evil 4 2005 came out back when I was in elementary school. It was one of the best games ever. I love this game. And I love this one too. Here we are, folks. Courtyard. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm probably gonna use the flash grenades. Let's use those flash grenades on those crows. Oh, my frames are dropping. Yeah. Nice job killing the friggin' crows at all at once. What we gotta do is lower three flags so that the gates will open. Hey, look! The flag's been lowered. That's one. So that means we're gonna have to go to this side first. Right now we're gonna run into these Comilos. These Camilos are absolutely annoying. Yes, they can jump scare you by jumping, by coming from the bushes. Doors locked from the other side. It's locked. They come from the. Oh God! Way to go, Leon. Do not shoot Ashley. Oh, piss off already, you annoying wolf. Stop that! Told you to stay out of my way, Ashley. Do you not listen to me? <laughs> what are you doing? All right. I had to snipe that friggin' wolf. Let's see where we are. No, 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 we gotta order Ashley to hold that lever so I can kill that annoying wolf first and then go through that door because this lever is very holdable. Because if, if Ashley lets go of it, the gate will close once again. Be careful. I'm very careful. There's our second flag here, folks. Oh god, a bunch of cults, zealots, come by to kidnap Ashley. You come back here, you stupid punk. Get your hands off me. I'm the one you want, not Ashley. Next. It's you. Mori. 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 <laughs> look at all those roses on the on the hedge. Well, seriously, look at them. Doors locked from the other side, you know. So we're gonna have to go another way.
you can easily get lost here. Oh god! Get away from me, you stupid, stupid freaking Camilo! Knock it off with the biting of my face. They take one hit sometimes. I usually need to save my ammo. A viper! Just whatever you do when a viper comes by. Just attack him. Don't go that way. Treasure's located in the hedge. Up there. A first aid spray. Approved. Booyah. What the heck? Oh god. More of those. Oh my god! Jeez. Leave her alone! Ashley loves dogs, you know. Dogs don't even like you, Ashley. They're wild. They're not dogs. They're wolves. They're wild wolves. Ashley, you are right. Salazar has been taming these wolves for about years and freaking wolves trying to ambush me. Oh god, they can jump jump on fences high enough so they could kill me? Anyway, let's deal with this guy before getting to the treasure. Okay, open up that treasure to get the elegant chessboard. Ha ha! Okay, we unlock that door. So climb up that ladder so that we can move, uh, pull down the final flag. <laughs> now we can finally get out of this maze. Yikes, more wolves. Uh-oh. Go away! Well, not this guy again. They're gonna kill Ashley! Another wolf! Thought there was gonna be two of them, but no. Come back here, you stupid wolf. So I can hunt you down. Hey!
Okay, I'll switch the lines from now on. <laughs> Why not treat yourself? Welcome. Well then, what can I do you for? Thank you. You're welcome, my good sir. Seriously. I just had to upgrade my pistol first after selling the treasures and the viper. Boy, do I hate vipers so much. Can you destroy the candle? No, you can't destroy the candle. Don't worry about the candle. Stop wasting ammo and focus. Right now, we're going into this hallway. Oh, great, more medallions. Ballroom must be this way. Machine gun ammo. All right, destroy that blue medallion on the chandelier. Get in there. Next level upgrades. Got some good news, mate. I recently procured some high quality tools. Now I can do even more nasty upgrades on those weapons of yours and make them even sting even louder. For the right price, of course. Give us a shot if you're interested. Destroy the blue medallions, number four. Those annoying blue medallions are a blemish and I want them gone. Let us show them that we are not afraid and that we will not stand for this. Uh, there's another shooting range gallery that we can attend to first. I ought to show Ashley this. Just use our TMP by destroying the pirates. We go. gotta shoot these pirate dogs. Don't shoot those sailors. Well, imagine if Smoker and Dashigi were to see Leon shooting those sailors because she would be so mad and so will Smoker. Whoops. <laughs> Yay, we shot 46 pirates, but we accidentally shot one, one sailor. Okay, let's do it one last time, just in case. <laughs> Don't do that. No, not that one. Is he actually watching you? Oh, you still get B. Wow. There's nothing to worry about. Let's see what the condition was. Destroy all the pirates with 20 seconds or more remaining. Yeah, it's going to be very hard to do it. You know, just don't worry about it anyways. 
Whatever. Okay, if we put one of the silver tokens in, two of them, and one gold, that means we get Dr. Salvador. 20% rifle ammo craft bonus frequency. A chainsaw Ganado. That's him. But anyways, let's continue. There's lots of shooting range galleries here. We got the Alexandrite. Look, a Chimera statue. We gotta shoot that medallion behind that pillar. I hear rats squeaking. At first, I'm actually gonna have to go in there. And let's read this. More pest control. Rats have been in, have infested a section of the castle and are gnawing away all the precious books. Those heretics couldn't care less. Please, someone get rid of these vermins before it's too late. It's in the grand hall in the library, you know. So let's get a move on. Oh wow! Statue of some snakes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, folks, this is a dining room hall puzzle. The king is having a bread with a wine bottle and a glass of wine with three, three knives and two forks and one spoon. The queen is having no bread but a, wine, but a glass of wine with one fork and one spoon and two knives. So, yeah. So Gotta make sure... Sit here. You do a lot of missions like this? Well, yeah, but I'm not used to having such good company. Is that a compliment? <laughs> Take it however you want. We gotta make sure Ashley sits here and we gotta sit to where the bread is. And we have to ring the bell at the same time. Look, was that a potato? Booyah! Looks like we figured it out. Yes, we did. So it's actually a potato, not bread. I thought it was bread. Now we pick up the serpent head. There's a rat. I hate rats. Now we're gonna go into this armory room. Gunpowder. Hey, Leon, there's some armor. Bet you could use it. The small key. Like a bulletproof vest. A little old fashioned for my taste. <laughs> Too bad. I think you'd look pretty dashing. You know, Leon would wear that suit of armor. And. But he won't look good. You know? Oh, look. Blue lanterns. Heavy grenade. Now we can pick up the lion head. Once we pick it up, we're gonna fight these ganados. Nope. Explosions don't even work either. Gotta kick this helmet off of those guys. Ugh. 
More spells. Alright. Still gotta fight those night dudes. It's like a lot of knights. Imagine if in Sonic and the Black Knight, Sonic can fight these night dudes. One of King Arthur's minions. But I digress. And Ashley's gonna be throwing blue flames at these punks. Ow! He just hit me from behind! Now's my good chance to kick him. No, they do not. Two at once. Nice. Raw. Yeah. Ninety nine nights. <laughs> Ninety nine nights. Now we gotta pull both lever at the same time of the centaur's tail. Whew. And let's go. There's our rat friend here. Let's kill him. And we get a cubic device. Probably not. But regardless of that, we only got one more medallion to shoot. That's good. Uh, now we can use that treasure, that cubic thing. The cube shaped object with a brass along its edges. Groups are engraved into each side. sure that this thing matches so we can get the lantern butterfly lamp booyah sala de audiencias audience chamber now well, let's go in there and go for a ride <sighs> my brother gets car sick in the back most of the time. I think we made it. I don't get car sick either. Or seasick. Grand Hall, Grand Salon. Well, we made it out there. Oh, it's back here. Yeah. Let's open up this door and deal with that that red zealot guy. Not those guys again. Oh, oh God! They're gonna take Ashley away from me. No! Get the hell out of my way, you stupid, scary parasite! You put her down right now. Okay, I'm gonna use my. Flashbang grenades. Oh god, no. Oh, of course. Gotta craft it first. Now let's equip it and throw it! It is gonna be friggin' bright. Alright, revolver might help. Stop missing! Oh no! Oh, I get another red barrel. Perfect. And these guys are totally disintegrating. Now I use the small key. 
so that we can get the uh another gold bar? Oh, we get the cubic device right over there. Triangle left, triangle right, and circle left. That doesn't fit. Now it does. Just need a statue. I need to heal. I gotta check my map. Now we can head back to the Grand Hall to where the ballroom is. I'm gonna customize the case. Put, put, so I can put the charms here. You can only carry three charms. But let's go anyway. Come on. Hey. I think we made it. Yeah, we have made it. Hello, stranger. Not now, we're busy at the moment. You gotta go look for the final head of that chimera. My dad's coughing, so that's why he's sick. We're going to go into this hallway and find the final st statue and the final treasure and the, also the medallion. Yeah, he's coughing up a storm. Let's place it over here, just in case. Not the seal what? We're sandwiched all right. <laughs> We're sandwiched all right. Great joke, you know. And also we gotta take out those cult dudes. Zealot can move in, in, in another different directions. Go away! I hate those guys, literally. Don't you dare touch Ashley, you punk! Impossibly, which means impossible, you know? is dead for now. Yep, he's dead. Now pick up the red barrel. And pull that one. Pull the lever back. Once we pull that lever back, we gotta fight. Look at Miss Positive. <laughs> Look at Miss Positive. Well, we keep, well, those Ganados don't come either yet.
Got some shotgun shells. That's it. That's the last one we found. And there's a yellow... A yellow diamond here. That's cool. Now we can go up to that bridge and find that final piece of the Chimera statue head. You know, remember these Chimeras from uh, the video game named Gauntlet Legends? That's the castle boss. Oh, yeah. Pick up that goat statue. Pick up that goat. That bad goat. <laughs> Watch out! Oh god, more of those. More of these guys. can go down. See if there's anything else. We got resources and flash grenades that I got I forgot about. I need more flash grenades. Alright. We can go talk to our merchant buddy and tell him the good news. Well, look at you, mate. What can I interest you in? Go bar, just eat a statue. A deal well struck. <laughs> Come back any time. All right. Oh crap, I need to get some more ammo for the armory. Now we can put those three statues in there. Goat. Ooh, serpent and a lion. And the door opens. I'm gonna get a drink.
wait for me, Leon. Alrighty, folks, we're going to be playing as Ashley Graham. These people trapped Leon. We pick up this blue lantern. Press L2 to shine forward. It's awesome. Crouch under those bookshelves. I remember in the 2005 version of Resident Evil 4. It's where Ashley has to solve the slide puzzle thing and avoid these armored dudes, you know. But yeah, you're gonna have the friggin' Is clock ticking. Clock? Yep. Wait to the hidden mausoleum. The resting forebears answer to the chosen time. If it's the Lord's blessing you seek, have courage and fear no darkness. You cannot attack, but you can only shine bright lights pretty awesome and uh, yeah Ashley only has one hit if he gets hit if she takes another hit by if she takes hit by these enemies game over it doesn't matter how many health you have you will die instantly she's got zero defenses she takes a hit by enemies and she dies I'll place that slamp here that lantern here so the, the bookshelves can move and we got our twist that crank to reveal this secret passage to the stairs. Yeah, it is. And uh, get upstairs, Ashley. Pick up a bunch of keys. keys. Oh my god. What those knights have risen again. Literally. Well, not again, but... Whatever. Those... Those parasitic knights are annoying. If you take a hit, Ashley, you die. That would be no good. Let's see if I can check my map. That locked treasure is located over here. So you need to use the uh, fish thing, or, or two fish. Use the second key, so that you can open up and get the elegant perfume bottle. You could probably spray yourself this time, Ashley. Oh God! Stupid knights are in my friggin' way. You know. But we're gonna use the key. Which one is it? I think it's the uh, imperial looking. The third key. Get inside that elevator. And the elevator just stopped on its own because of those knights. So we gotta open up this door. I remember in the 2005 version, they were Ashley and Leon rode a cable car on the village, and in this one, there was no cable car here. Need to find that symbol. What's this slot for? Librarian's note: the insignia, the key is to getting out of this confounded place, is the Salazar family's insignia. To find it, I must venture to where that cursed armor awaits, the underground mausoleum. O oh, merciful Lord, enact your righteous justice from the wicked usurper, the maniacal monster Ramon Salazar. You may your blessed blue light protect your forever faithful servant. And we got another treasure over here. And that's the fourth treasure. The fourth key, that is. 
Unlock it so that we can get the sapphire. Excellent. And pick up that note. Hastily written note. 11 of 4. Clock. Relo means clock in Spanish. But if you do the hard chord, it's uh, 7 o'clock. Hold on. Press L1 and R1 to move the handle. Ding, 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 ding. An annoying clock. Yeah, these treasures are limited time only, you know. Watch out for that annoying knight. Just don't get hit by those knights. Gotta freeze that punk. There we go. More knights? Let's see here. Where we could go. Uh oh! No! Oh my god! Don't look back! Don't look back! These knights are absolute pain in the butt! Okay, now we gotta do 1104 this time, just like we did last time. Nope. There. Let's hope. Holy! Oh, oh shit! Another knight just came by to scare me? Oh my god. Okay. Come on! Come on! Two knights! Okay. I gotta freeze these psychos. Now get in there. And don't worry about those guys. Thank God. I am done with armor. Alright. We got more armor. Didn't I just say I was done? Okay, if we pull down this Gong, knights, you are worth the knights. This sucks. Just watch out. Those, those night punks really get under my skin. Somehow these knights really, really drive me not crazy. Hurry up, Ashley! Don't get caught by their stupid slash attack. Get out of the door, opens. Let's go. Freeze, you night scum! At least they don't look like those dark nets from Legend of Zelda, you know? <laughs> the final treasure is located over here. So go over there and use the key. Let's see the first one. What does that give you? An emerald! Just make sure that you don't miss it, okay? That's very important. Mm. Oh, so the blue flames just froze all the knights. This is a star puzzle. Let's place that full moon here. Next. There's a star.
Once it's done, we're going to pick up this insignia. These cells are apparently insignia. Booyah. Oh god. More annoying knights just come to life. You gotta crouch. Okay. Good knights and stay still. <laughs> Be good knights and stay still. Gotta agree with Ashley. We don't have a lantern anymore, so that means we gotta run away from those knights before they kill Ashley instantaneously! Run! We don't have a lantern anymore! Ta -da. I didn't take a sip of water. And watch out for that knight coming by. Don't let that knight slash you. This is very annoying and tricky. Whoa! That was close. Now look, we're, look, we're heading into over there. But too bad that door is locked on that side. Uh oh. Oh no, more of these. Gotta lure those knights over here. Yeah, that's the way. Now we can go. Move! Hurry up before they kill you! Fast, Ashley, run! Almost there. Now we put the Salazar family insignia over here. And that's it! Here we go! Oh wow, Ashley's been taken by Salazar's right hand man after we escaped from those knights and gave her gave Leon the key. <laughs> anyway folks, that is the end of uh, chapter nine. So yeah. I will see you in part four. Till then. <laughs>